let's discuss drafting and its benefits in a writing course first as you remember in the previous module we talked about planning and we also discussed uh, pre-writing as one of the important exercises to help students get started when the students actually get started they need to write they need to draft out and then they don't need to worry about the accuracy drafting is all about fluency putting ideas in in a in a writing in in the form of words in the form of sentences or in the form of shorter paragraphs so drafting is actually as i said before is followed by pre writing exercise so the main purpose of drafting is is just coming up with ideas and putting those ideas in the form of writing and our focus is on fluency like just for instance there can be a um, um, kind of rhetorical devices misses or there can comparative devices missing so don't worry about them you don't have to be concerned about the neatness of grammar in 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 a fluency based in a drafting based and a uh, classroom and it's important that a language teacher encourages students to write multiple drafts not a single draft rather first draft second draft third draft fourth draft and they, they these can be graded as well but if if you attach too much in uh, significance to grading this it might affect students confidence and when the students are engaged in drafting it's important to make them think of their audience whether they are writing for their classmates whether they are writing for their peers or whether they are writing for their family members or whether they are writing for pen friends so the main purpose is to make them realize what they are writing for that will help that will actually help them set the tone and the style of writing if for example they have no audience in view they might not be thinking seriously about the consequences of their writing drafts so apart from setting the tone what it will do it will make them conscious it them it will make them notice what they are writing and see the things so consciously and that will eventually dictate a certain style of writing and style of writing a vo writer's voice writer's personality is important in writing so the whole the central idea in drafting stage is to plan and then communicate so we we need some ideas to communicate and this can happen in the form of drafting so there there are different genres of writing for example narrative expository or argumentative so the purpose is to encourage students to write whether they would like to narrate a story whether they want to give exemplification about certain phenomenon or whether they want to argue so actually any genre is the purpose is actually to help students draft and also make them realize the genre within which they are writing and another important point in draft writing is to start their paragraph or start their writing with the startling statement and then followed by the middle and then a short summary of the rest of the writing and apart from different genres of writing we can train our students to write for different purposes for example as a general statement as a general philosophy about their about themselves an apology to someone or statement of purpose so drafting is a, a after planning is important stage in a writing course and this has to be engineered appropriately by a language teacher in the classroom